guys, Mindy here, and today I'm back for another Minecraft video. Now today, ah, now today I'm here with my pet pig and companion, Pyro Piggy, and we're going over the first few snapshots for Minecraft 1.9, the combat update. Now come back here. Um, this will be a three-part video series. Um, part one will, which, which is this video, will go over 15W31A, B, and C all the non-end related changes. Part two will go over the non-end related changes of 15W32, A, B, and C. And part three will go over all the end related changes that happened in both snapshots. So let's get started. First, oh, we'll also, I'm going to have a annotation, annotations for part two and part three as soon as they're out. I'm planning to get this out before Wednesday, that way I don't have to have like another part for this. So yeah. First off, we've got dual wielding. It's basically what you would expect. You can hold two things at once, which is pretty cool. Um, if you go into your survival inventory, as you can see, there is a new slot. This is your offhand slot, and you can put your stuff in here and stuff. It's really cool. Now, that one, I don't really recommend that. You can just press F or whatever you configure it to um, to um, switch the keys. So basically like that, it's really, really handy. Really handy. Now I'm gonna try to explain this in the best way possible. So um, first off, um, let's put the torch here and the diamond pickaxe here for, exa for an, as an example. Let's put you right here. Um, so I'm gonna try to explain this. Um, if your main hand does not have a right click function while your off hand does, it will use the right click function of the off hand. So, really cool. Let's just do that. But if your main hand does have a right click function, such as the sword, it will use the off it will, it will use right click function of the main hand and render the off hand completely useless. So I so I recommend not using the sword in your like off. But since swords still can block, um, you can still use this in your, you can use this in your off hand, it will still have a function and it won't be useless unless you use a bow or something or a block on your main hand. You can you only can attack with using your main hand oops, I broke my hands, but lead, and then you can only attack using your main hand, so um, you can't attack using your off hand, so that's a little shame. So um, yeah, that's basically how dual wielding works. So, so like so like if you have a bow in your main hand and something else in your off hand such as a fence but I'm holding it out. It will use a right click function of the bow since it has a right click function. The bow also has a new um, animation on the hotbar now, so it'll have a little, really nice animation. Really cool. Speaking of bows, there are new types of arrows. So let's just put this back. So there are new types of arrows now. I'm gonna keep you there for safety reasons. And um, these are new potion tipped arrows. So um, we've got the arrow of night vision, invisibility, leaping, fire resistance, swiftness, stillness, flashing, which is a water ball arrow. Um, so if you play 15W31A or B, you just get the water ball arrow and um, it will become the arrow of splashing and 15W31C or later. Um, and then water breathing, healing, harming, poison, regeneration, strength, and weakness. So yeah, those are the new arrows. And also, we've also got some the new spectral arrow, which has different um, uh, function compared to all the rest. It does in, it does affect them with the stats. They all of them affect the affect the target with the stats effect. But this one has this one is a little different. This one gives them the glowing stats effect, a new a new stats effect. I think I use this way too much. I think I use this way too much on these. Oh. So, um, as you can see, it'll have this new um, glow. It'll give them an outline that can be visible through blocks. So, oh wait, let's just do them. As you can see, it'll be visible through blocks. 
and which is really which is really cool for like PvP and stuff so you can like track your en enemies down. I'm I myself I not, is not I'm not really a good PvP or myself but it's, it would be really um, good for like adventure maps and everything. And um, yeah. So those are basically the new arrows. Oh, speaking of arrows, the um the um, arrows in your offhand are now prioritized over the arrows in your mate, over the arrows in your hotbar or inventory. So that's all. That's a that's a nice new feature. So let's just put these back. All right. Um, the spectral arrow is currently the only new type of arrow that is craftable. So let's just grab four glowstone dust and a, and an arrow. this around here and then an arrow and then you get two spectral arrows i don't know if they're going to change that but probably they won't i don't know because like if you put one arrow in there it should it should make sense if you get one air one spectral arrow in return so that be not just doesn't really make sense next up we've got the grass pad next up we've got the grass pad which is a new block which is a new little block decorative block which is really nice now now it's a little shorter than the rest of the blocks it's um one pixel shorter and it makes you a little if you can notice that it makes you sink a little which is really cool now to um get to um make this you just grab a diamond shovel and right click with a right click grass. You can't do this on dirt, which is a little shame, or something like that. It's a shame. So yeah, that's, the, the, it's basically like farmland. If you put anything on top of it, it'll become normal. But you can't, it won't revert back to dirt if you jump on it. So that's, that's a little nice feature. I'm just gonna put this back. I'm just gonna, all right. Okay. So yeah, those are the grass paths. Next up, we've got beetroots, which are is a new type of food item, and um, they're new, they're a new type of crop, as you can see here. They can be found in villages, um, which is why oh wait, um, I don't think I should have done that. Oops. I'm gonna do some magic, and I'll respawn him. I'll be right back. And he's back. All right. So, um, as I said before, bee roots are a new type of food item. They can be found in villages, so let's just go over there. And as you can see, there's some bee root crops over there. And uh, let's just go back over here. And, um, and they're also found in the new end dungeons, which we'll get to later. Now, you can get bee roots... Well, the, well, the new end. Well, you can get beetroot seeds in the new end dungeons, which we'll get to in part three. And then, and and let's go into game mode zero to um, grab some of these crops. And then, and then, oh, and then so we got four beetroot seeds and four beetroots. So you drop an approximate of oh, five beetroot seeds. And as you can see, we've got some. Well, nice little um, thing here. That's a. Uh, Go back to game of one, and let's just go and mill bees. And it has a nice little red texture. Has a nice, nice red texture. Kind of looks, kind for me, it kind of looks different than all the other type of food items in Minecraft. Maybe because of like the, I don't know. But for me, it kind of looks different. But um, pigs love these things, so. He loves it. So um, also, the, um, you can craft beetroot soup by using six beetroots and a bowl, and like this, and it'll and you'll get some beetroot soup. So yeah, that's a nice little feature. Uh, so you're, you're still loving those beetroots, huh? Next up, we've got some potion tweaks. I should, I should have renamed these before I discovered all the potion changes in the wiki. So um. First off, um, there's a, a lot of new um, potions in the creative inventory, such as the, um, the 
thick, mundane, and um, awkward potions. And there are new splash potions for them as well. Um, you can also get the splash water bottle, which is um, the only useful one of the bunch. Well, except for the aqua potion, which is used for us, which is used for. Um, It's used for a uh, for potion making. Well, the main potions anyway. So let's just, as you can see, it puts it puts out fires. So let's just grab some flint and steel. It'll it'll expand some water and it'll go away. Um, I forgot to mention that um that um they were also removed some most of the recipes for um, the weakness potion so yeah that that way because the weakness potion it's it can be obtained by many ways but now it can be only obtained by a few ways next up we've got multiple boss bars so let's just put let's just um, click the title let's go into the boss bar world now you're putting like three withers on this place this place there's two withers right there let's Let's summon an Ender Dragon. Let's see. Let's see. Well, it only has support for like three. For only um, three boss bars, but it's still really, still really, still really cool and convenient. That way you don't have to um, do like it doesn't alternate and everything. So yeah, it's a lot more convenient. So now let's go back into the snapshot world. Let's get back into the snapshot world. And um, next up, we've got death messages on game over. Now, now the death messages now display on the death screen. So if we kill ourselves, as you can see, it says the, the death message as well as on the chat. So let's just respawn. And and I good thing I set my spawn point over here. Or let's, or, so I, had to I had to travel all the way over there, all the way back over there, because I spawned far from this place. So yeah, those are the, those are the death messages on the death screen. So yeah, let's um, wait, where's the fence block? Where's the fence? Oh, there it is. up we've got a new status effect HUD so let's grab these and um let's grab these on ourselves Ooh. oopsie oopsie uh, let's put this back that way you don't set on fire now as you can see there's a new um little heads up display up there and um it lists it has the icons listed on there that way you don't have to just go, go into your inventory so that's pretty convenient. The positive effects are on the top, while the um, negatives are on the bottom. And um, when they're close to um, going away, they're going to start to blink. So I'm gonna wait until it start, that starts happening. So I'm just gonna cut until that happens. All right, so it's starting to blink. The speed icon is starting to blink and it's blinking fast. And then when it's close to running out, it blinks faster and faster and then it runs out. And now the weakness effect is starting to blink as well. And then it starts blinking faster and faster and faster. And then it goes away. So yeah, that's the new status effect HUD. Next up is a, a tiny little feature. And on the item tooltips, it says when in main hand for the damage tooltip. So that's that's a little nice feature because you can't attack with your cough and everything. Next up, dead bushes now drop sticks. So let's just go into game mode zero. Let's go, it, let's just harvest these dead bushes. As you can see, they drop sticks now, which is really, um, really nice. And that way, if you spawn into, um, spawn in the desert, you, it's a nice and easy way to get sticks. Let's just put these back. Next up, trapdoor. Next up, we've got some trapdoor tweaks. So let's grab some of those trapdoors. As you, um, Trapdoors can do not need a supporting block anymore, so that's nice. They can be still functional and everything. This also um, applies.
as the iron trapdoors, which did not receive that much. I did not receive that much love too. So nah, those are so bad. Um, which you can make some nice little contraptions with and everything. And um, because of this, they can also be pushed around by pistons now. I don't know if that applies to the iron trapdoors as well. Let's grab this. Oh, they can. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. That. Those are some of those some of the trapdoor tweaks. Uh, trapdoors. Okay, there we go. So yeah, those are the trapdoor tweaks. Next up, you can now throw Ender Pearls in creative. So that's a little nice feature. So yeah, that's really nice. It's really nice, and I am kind of I was kind of annoyed that um, you couldn't throw Ender Pearls in creative. And I can, yay! Next up, we've got mini maps. So, if you put it in, if you put your map, which is still normal, if you're holding it with, in your main hand and your hands off, right? if you put it in, if you put it into your off hand, or your off, or your main hand is, or your off hand is occupied, um, it will it will display a little mini map instead of the the full thing. So, which is, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And, it, and then it becomes the normal stuff. Next up, we've got some. Next up are some changes to glass and uh, glass panes and iron bars. Now, now glass panes and iron bars got a little tweak. And if they're not connected to anything horizontally, they'll become a little a two by two, a two by two rod, which is a little, which is nice. And it makes, and it also makes um, pain parkour even. Um, Harder, so um, you could still instead of that cross um, thing, which I didn't really, I didn't personally like. So there it is, all the cross thing. But it'll still go back to normal if it's connected horizontally. So yeah, those, those are the um, glass and iron rod change, the glass and iron, glass panes and iron bar changes. Next up, let's set time tonight because we've got some skeleton AI changes. Wait, no, not game mode zero. Game mode one and time set night. All right, let's just put this up here. And happy. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put you somewhere like right here. That way you'll be safe. Now let's um go into game mode zero. Now let's go up close. As you can see, the skeleton is um, now a bit more player-like with its arms down and um, its bow, its bow by its side. But when I go close to it, it'll 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 become normal again, and it also draws back its bow now, which is really cool. It draw back, it draws back its bow as you can see, which is which is a little, it's a nice little feature. So yeah, um, it's time, it's time set day. Alright, geez, there's a ton of errors over here. It's a good thing I didn't get hit by one. So yeah, that, those are all the non-end related changes to, to 15W31A and B and C. Um, part, next up. We're going to this, we're going to discuss all of the non end related changes in 15W32 A, B, and C in part two of part two of this Minecraft snapshots overview. Until then, this is the Mindster, and peace out.